what's the best way to contact the library during the closure? Mm -hmm. um, we're still keeping our existing phone number, and that'll okay. even carry over to the new library. So our main number still will be available to our patrons, as well as our website. So we haven't cut off any communications in terms of um, those two very important ways of, of connecting with us. We will have a, a little lapse of time on our website, so if someone were to, to go in and they notice in, in mid-April, um, okay. just because we have a switch over sure. of the technology, there'll be a little, a little bit of time lapse there. But other than that, we'll be up and going, and, and those are the two best ways to get a hold of us. Oh, great. Now, talking about the website, what kind of services will the website provide? Um, well, we will still have opportunity for patrons to renew materials if they need to do that. Right. Um, information on the construction project and how we're doing, all of our program information, um, all of our databases will be available. Um, so pretty much everything that's online is will be available. We're even going to keep up on our IM uh, reference. So if you still need to connect with a reference librarian, great. You can definitely still do that if you get you know in a crunch and you need information. We've got our reference librarian still working and email as well. So still the communication is definitely going to be there. Oh, that's great. Now, we already talked about the survival guide, and that's available, like you said, on the website Correct. as well. So, I mean, we got some good communication, it sounds like, out there. We're on track for the... Boy, the project itself, the closure, the reopening. Is there anything else you wanted to add? Well, we have our big grand opening party. Well, that's and good everyone in the community will, will know about this because we will definitely be sending out postcards. But just a big day to, for all of you to put on your calendars is Saturday, June 26th. From 10 until 4, that is going to be our open house celebration. And we want everyone to come in and enjoy that day. We are going to have entertainment and um, lots of fun projects for kids and programming for adults and um, definitely, you know, some good food and um, music and just a, a number of things planned for the day. And it really will be a huge celebration and give people the opportunity to come in and really get a good look at the building. Um, we have some amazing artwork that's coming into the new building and... Um, just you know, some great places to sit, and the the Novi race car, car obviously we've talked about in the past, right. and so that will make its debut as well. So, uh, you know, this is going to be a truly a fun day. We'll we'll host tours, so we'll make sure that people get an opportunity to really see the entire building, and we'll hold those throughout the day as well. So it's just going to be a lot of fun, and it I hope everyone like takes you know an hour or two out of their day to stop by and see us that day. Okay, you heard it here. March 26th, <laughs> mark your calendars. Well, June 26th. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not that early. <laughs> June 26th. June 26th. Yes. Well, let's switch gears a little bit sure. then and talk some about the new programs available at the mm -hmm. library. One of the best and one of the most recent is the Novi Newbies program. Can yeah. you tell us a little about that? This was a program um, when we first sat down and, and said, you know, how can we continue to reach out mm -hmm. to the community? Um, we have a great senior program now, and we go to a number of facilities here in, in Novi. We wanted to look at a different demographic and a different group okay. of people that we could touch base with. And we thought, what better group than our very, very young um, because we want to grow them as library users, as little people, so that they continue to be library users. So we started a program called the Novi Newbies. Mm -hmm. And what this is, and I'm showing this fabulous green bag, because if you are a new baby born at Providence Hospital, um, you will receive this bag if you're a resident of Novi. Okay. okay. So not much, you know, just have to be a resident of Novi and then a new baby. Only two, two stipulations. Um, our partners, which are the library, Providence Hospital, the city of Novi, and our friends of the library, went in together and we have created this Novi newbie bag. Every little baby will get one. In the bag is a onesie that the child can wear, uh, a bib, um, a book from the library, oh. yes. So we start out with their reading right away, and then lots of great information about the library and about the city and the community that they live in. So this was the first way for us to connect them to the library, into the city, into all the programming and all the information and all the events that we have going on. And we know that maybe not baby, you know, can be involved right away, right. but we definitely want parents to know that this is a great time to start interacting and, and getting your child ready for the library plus the community and what you know they have to offer so these uh, bags are given to children that are born 
in Novi into new babies. So anyone having a new baby in the next year, uh, we hope that they will receive one from Providence Hospital. And what we've heard from Providence is that about 250 babies in Novi are born each year. Wow. So to me, that's another 250 new yep. members of our library and new members of our community that in some way over time, you know, we'll have the opportunity to enjoy all these great you know, great things that we have to offer. So very That's excited great. about this program. Well, who was the lucky recipient of the first Novi Newbies bag? Well, we were really excited because we had two twins oh. that were born. Yes, they were born at the end of December and we, we did our launch in January. They were still there because they were born a little early and just the cutest little brothers. And so they were our first recipients. Mom was very excited. Um, and it was really great for us to, you know, to connect her and, and to give her a, a connection to us. So we were very pleased. Oh, that's wonderful. And it's really, a, like you said, a great way to promote reading at such an early age. It is. Now, Julie, another exciting program is the Name the Library Cafe mm -hmm. contest. Mm -hmm. Now, how did this work? Well, we started, you know, back mm -hmm. in October. Um, we had put a call out to our community and said, hey, you know, do you have some good names yeah. that you'd like to name the, the cafe for the new building? And we received over 200 entries of different names and we had a wonderful panel of um, people that came in. Our, our mayor was part of the project and uh, some board members and uh, teachers as well. Um, we had a good group that decided on the three names okay. that would be taken to the community to vote on in January. So uh, they were the Rita Latte Cafe, Chapters Cafe, and Books and Bites. So those were the three names that, that came to vote in January. And the winner, because we let the community vote, That's the right. winner was the Rita Latte Cafe. So that is the new name of the cafe for the new building. Um, it's going to be etched in glass when you first walk in, so it'll be right in the cafe area. And Karen Kelly was our winner. She um, she actually came up with the name. I, I think it's very fitting, and I think it's yep. cute. But yet, it you know, it really says a lot about you know what we have going on there. Obviously, a, a nice cafe, a nice feel, and then obviously the building itself. So, um, a huge thank you to Karen and her wonderful creative idea, and then obviously the committee that helped work on that to to narrow down the names, That's and right. then our wonderful voters. You know, our community itself. That, that chose that name. So that was a fun project. Absolutely.